God has provided an atonement. This is what everyone needs because everyone has sinned. We are all prone to sin. Everyone does it. As God describes it, there is not a single man in all the earth who is always good and never sins. It comes naturally. Perhaps you've heard it said, Our Father in heaven, lead us not into temptation. I can find it on my own. <laughs> we all have a terminal sin problem. Fish do not provide the life-giving solution we need. Tashlich is a beautiful ceremony to observe, but the sentimental fishy myth that leads to the performance of a ritual on the afternoon of Rosh Hashanah will not secure anyone's atonement. If we believe God's book of life, the Sefer Chaim, is opened at the beginning of our days of awe on Rosh Hashanah and it is sealed during the tenth day on Yom Kippur, our day of atonement, a better plan than Tashlich is needed. Neither fasting nor prayer alone will assure God's forgiveness. Tradition suggests God will reach His judgment about what we will endure in the coming year. It is presumed that His decision will be influenced by our actions during the prior year and how He chooses to answer our prayers during the days of awe. We all have sins on our account. We should all want to have our accounts cleared. We all need a legitimate solution to our sin problem. I think many of my readers would agree that throwing some bread into a river for the fish seems like a stretch of faith. Forgive my coarse analysis, but it reminds me of our conversation with that French lady. Something was lost in translation. And one might crudely say, the rabbinic interpretation degenerates from the absurd to the preposterous. Some people have much for which they should be sorry. If God were to run His video from the camera over our life during the prior year's behavior, we would all be ashamed. Actually, we would be horrified and we would immediately recognize why our sins separate us from God. Throwing bread into a canal is not a solution. True forgiveness will not come from superstition, rote rituals, carrying a rabbit's foot, or wearing a cross.